invasion of the cockroaches. They're coming to your restaurant. They're multiplying under your home. They're even stealing your identity. Now they want to take over the world. Beware of the invasion of the cockroaches. Why do busted cables always happen on my weekends? Well, buck up, Amanda. At least you're getting overtime. No wonder the power went out. These lines look like they were gnawed by piranhas. Holy free holies! Hello? to this. An elephant can lift half its weight, but an ant can lift 20 times its weight. Yeah, but an ant can't lift an elephant. Huh? Can we please not talk about wrinkly animals and crawly bugs just before lunch? Speaking of which, hey, Pop, where's our food? <laughs> Wait no more, my young friends. Here are the comestibles you requested. Pop, what's with the fancy talk and the fancier dishes? All we ordered were burgers and fries. Well, that's no reason to be uncouth, is it? Voila! Nice, Pop, but what about our milkshakes? In a champagne glass? Only the best for my customers. Okay, Pop, fess up. We're just a bunch of typical food gobbling teens. Speak for yourself. So what's with the deluxe treatment all of a sudden? I don't know what you're talking about, Betty. This, cloth napkins, covered dishes, what gives? Horton J. Odd Socks. You mean that famous Fancy Pants restaurant critic? Ooh, he's powerful, Archie. A bad review from Odd Socks can destroy a restaurant. But a rave review could double my business. So I gotta be spick and span when he arrives. Odd Socks is coming here? I know this is just a burger joint now, but who knows how fancy it could become tomorrow. Is a big fancy restaurant what you really want? That doesn't sound like you, Pop. No, no, I just want a good review, that's all, really. Well, if there's anything I can do to help you, I'm there. Me too. Me three. Fine, me 12. You'll help me? Great! Okay, this whole place could use a really good scrubbing. Don't worry, Pop. We'll have these tables so clean you could eat off them. Yeah, we'll impress the socks off Odd Socks. I'm 
I'm running on autopilot. Stop lounging, you slackers. I thought you promised to help. We did help, Pop. Didn't I make it clear? I want to wow this restaurant critic. And you will. How? With streaks on my clean windows? With the music that loud? With a napkin holder's off-center? Relax, Pop. The place looks great for a burger joint. Don't get frantic over a few tiny details. Don't you see? Odd Socks won't love this place if it isn't perfect. Perfect! Pop, you haven't even met this food critic yet. And you're letting him dictate your life? It's just that I want to look good to this famous cockroach! Roaches! I hate roaches! I'll go buy some bug spray, Pop. Don't bother. I have a homemade bug formula that has been in my family for generations. Watch! If Horton J. Odd Socks had seen this, it would have been the end of me. Pop, this isn't like you. You're obsessing over a dumb bug. No, if you four had worked harder, this would never have happened! We are not your slaves. We're your friends. The Opoc tape would have never treated us this way. Good luck with your review. Phooey. Who needs them? I'll just stay up all night and re-clean the place myself. He hates us. No, he's just all wound up. After this food review is over, everything will go back to normal. Maybe so, but it feels like he's turning his back on his values, just so this critic will like him. Hey, there's one of my mom's friends. Works for the power company. Hi, Miss Bear. Working late, huh? Hello. I'll tell my mom you said hi, okay? Goodbye. Was that weird or what? Definitely. Been up all night, but it was worth it. Everything is spotless. No dirt, no stains, no grease, no bugs. Bugs? bugs! Giant bugs! Giant bugs! Big bugs! Giant cockroaches! Archie! Help! Insects! Uh. Pop, is that you? What are you hollering about? Nasty, huge cockroaches, Archie! In my diner! You've been working too hard, Pop. Go home and get some rest. Six foot tall, Archie! Uh, I'm going back to bed. It sounds like a weird mystery to me! You're right! They're over there, in that back booth. Uh, Pop, these alleged bugs are allegedly not here. I'm telling you, Archie, they were right here. Two of them, this big. Pop, you're so tired, you're seeing things. Go home and sleep. Maybe Archie's right. Maybe I hallucinated the whole thing. Snap out of it, Tate. You've got to be open for business in a few hours. Today's the day Odd Socks is coming. Hmm, cleaner than I expected for a hamburger joint. Here's your meal, Mr. Odd Socks. Please, please, not Mr. Call me what my friends call me, sir. Huh? <laughs> Just joking. Now, let's taste this so-called famous burger of yours. Excellent! Marvelous! Really? I could almost give you a five-star review on this burger alone. Almost? What's not right, sir? Replace the novelty napkin holders with flowers, put up some real curtains, lose the jukebox, the guitar clock, the fake car... But the kids like them. Exactly. If you want a more upscale clientele, aim for the adults. Forget the kids. Kids are useless. Um, I don't know. You think? Wow! Did you see Horton J. Oddsock's review of Pop's place? Yep, and it's what I've been saying for years. Pop makes the best burgers in the world. In fact, I'm in the mood for a few right now. Good idea. Huh? What's going on? 
Hard Socks' review was so good, my business is booming. I'm charging twice as much for my burgers now. That means I can only afford half as many. I just did what Horton J. Odd Socks recommended. That's all. And it's working! But it was working before, Pop. Higher prices, tuxedos, velvet ropes. This isn't you, Pop. You're going to drive away your old customers. Maybe so, but look at all the new ones. Bonjour. Welcome to Pierre Tate's Beefsteak Chateau. I know Pop wanted a great review, but I can't believe he let Odd Socks tell him what to do. It's not like him. Face it, Archie. Pop sold out. Ooh, I'm just so excited to be here. Just so, I shall return to take your order a toot de sweet. Where are you going? Is something wrong? Hello. Very nice. We will bring others here. Goodbye. All right, we have a table free. Uh, next, a seal boo play. I can't believe Pop knowingly dumped his teen customers to impress some stranger. Everyone knows that's not how Pop really is, especially Pop. He's acting like someone else, and that's just wrong. Now we've got no place to go, and I'm hungry. Guys, guys, there's something weird going on in town. Have you noticed how a lot of the adults are acting lately? Watch. Hello, eat it, Pops. Ask for the back booth. Goodbye. Odd, but not weird. Watch again. Hello, eat it, Pops. Ask for the back booth. Goodbye. Freaky. Yeah, and why the back booth, huh? Now look at this. I did some research. Back in the late 40s, before Pop's chocolate shop was built, there was an atomic energy research facility on the same spot. According to old documents, there was an isotope experiment that went awry. A couple of cockroaches were exposed to large doses of radiation, but they escaped down a floor drain before they could be studied. Remember, Pop said he saw some giant cockroaches. Where? In the back booth. What if it's all connected? What if those radiated cockroaches mutated over the years? What if they're still living under Pop's place? What if they've chosen this moment to come up into Riverdale? Please don't say, we've got to solve this weird mystery. I don't have to. You already did. Place, and now they're a bunch of zombies. That's why it's up to us teens to figure this out. This is the back booth. The same place Pop saw those giant roaches. There's got to be a connection. Perhaps a doorway to some tunnels or something. Uh... Face it, this trap door theory of yours is full of... <laughs> way to go, Ronnie. Something chewed right through this rock face and up through pop cement floor. Talk about hungry. I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but I wish I were back in my room doing homework. Shh, I hear something. <gasps> Attention all cockroach jailers. Finish the transformation process, then join the cluster meeting below. We'll have you out in just a second. Girls, will you do the honors? Let Betty have it. I've got a tungsten steel nail file. My fellow roaches, we have waited here below the human world long enough. 
Tomorrow we will complete our replacement of the human adults. Then the town will be ours. With Riverdale as our base of operations, we will multiply and spread across this country, across this planet, across this globe. We shall exterminate those pesky humans, just as they have tried to exterminate us over the ages. We've got to free the citizens and get help to fight these creatures. Right, let's go. Huh? <gasps> Uh-oh! Get them! I'm sorry, Arch. No, Jug. That actually gives me a great idea. You go help Betty and Veronica. I'll handle this. We'll have to worry about a cockroach invasion after all. Way to go, buddy! Now let's get back up to Riverdale! To the land of the free and the home of the mall! <laughs> we did it, Archie! We saved Riverdale! Do you think there's a reward? Yeah, our reward is not being slaves to a bunch of bugs. And now that the exterminators have rounded up those fake roach people, everything is back to normal. So who are you taking to the dance on Friday, Archie? Huh? Well, 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 what's that? Relax, Betty. Probably just a mild earth tremor. Or else... Or else what? Jughead, you remember that screen we saw the cockroach queen's face on? Yeah, it was huge. What if it wasn't a screen? What if it was a window? Then that would mean the queen wasn't six feet tall. She'd be... She's not very happy. What do we do? Go to the store and buy 7,000 cans of bug spray. You're on to something, Veronica. Follow me. Pop? Pop, you here? I told you I saw cockroaches. See? See? Yes, Pop, we believe you. But we need your help right now. Where's your home recipe bug spray? Here, but it won't be enough to stomp that monster. Nope, but what if we made a big batch of the stuff? Where would we get such huge amounts of ingredients? We'll call all our classmates to pitch in. After the way I turned them away from my restaurant, they'll never help me. Sure they will. Veronica, take down the ingredients from Pop while I start the ball rolling. Okay, we'll need two buckets of fish guts, 30 gallons of vinegar, 400 onions, a bag of manure, 30 cans of sauerkraut, six pounds of blue cheese, and a fire engine. Huh? Trust me. I will have my revenge. Look, a roach motel. <laughs> to flatten! Keep away from our school, you overgrown garbage muncher! You unruly juveniles think you can stop me, huh? Yep. Any last words? Yeah, two. Bug off! <laughs> now to finish you off. Ugly. 
We cockroaches have waited 400 million years for this! Uh, uh, you're right. This is getting old. She'll ever return? Weirder things have happened. The adults don't want to come back to my restaurant. It reminds them of bad times. So I guess I need to shut down my business now. What are you talking about, Pop? You've still got us. No, I can't expect you teens to come back after the way I treated you. There's nothing wrong with wanting to expand your clientele. It's just that you went overboard. Yeah, you turned your back on your friends and your values. I didn't know who my real customers were. You kids were the only ones who helped me when the chips were down. Speaking of chips, how about whipping up a batch of fish and chips, and burgers, and hot dogs, and ice cream sundaes, and pie, and chicken sandwiches, and... And so the teens came back to Pop's Diner, and everything went pretty much back to normal. The fake cockroach people were rounded up, and the queen was never seen again. Pop discovered that you can't trade in friendship for a good magazine review. You always have to be true to yourself, even in a little town called Riverdale. Deep. 